What up, what up, what up? Yo. Hey, hello. What's going on, A Boogie? Whew, you know, out here living my best life. Out here living your best life? Where you at in this world? Ah, you know, I'm out here in Costa Rica. Ah, humble brag, big flex out here. I mean, I, I do what I can. You know, I do what I can. Cause so yeah, I'm thinking you had a good Thanksgiving so far that out there in the, the Costa Ricas. Yeah, that pagan ass holiday in America, you know, they don't um celebrate. It's a re- it's a regular day. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a, another day for me just to pick out, you want me to be honest with you, you know. Fact, I think this for, I, me. for as long as I can remember, because my my um my dad is a militant as conspiracy Muslim as dude. For as long as I can remember, this dude always has said, question everything and don't believe Talk nothing. White man's holidays. Right. <laughs> this pagan ass shit ain't real. Look we don't this celebrate shit. Kwanzaa in this house. Man, <laughs> we barely celebrated Kwanzaa because this nigga couldn't pronounce any of those. I don't know words. any niggas that celebrate Kwanzaa. If you want me to be real, I think I know like maybe two niggas that really celebrate it. Like, nigga, we are just now deciding to celebrate Kwanzaa because people are like, you know what, we need to we need to really lean into our black side. Our blackness. I yeah. only know about Kwanzaa. This is gonna sound fucked up as hell. Like I learned about it as a kid, but like the boondocks, like that's what really kind of emoja nigga. Emoja. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> that was like like oh Kwanzaa. I was like, yeah, you know, I might want to get into it. but then I was just like, man. All these candles and light and shit. I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just like, that's a bit much. Listen, you know, first I, was, fruits, I, was, I was wearing, I was wearing kunta, kunta kente cloth and kufis and and all that before it was hot. Before black paper, slinging mad bean pies and and the papers. Nasty out there ass the bean pie <laughs> out here. <laughs> I he was, was out uh, there. Did man. your dad rhyme? Did he rhyme? No, no, he but he to wanted like to. He, he, you had a rat, give a dog a bone. Right. Talk like and, that. No, what this dude used to always say was, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Understand. He used to say shit like that. I'm like, he would talk with his hands. He was like, now what you see here <laughs> right. is the see? way the man is trying to construct. <laughs> he was the, the hand talker. Like the hand talkers are hilarious. People tell me I talk with my hands. I try not to because I, I think about it. I'm like, Ugh, I'm getting real philosophical. But shit, man. man. To this day, to this day, to this day. To this day. This so how, how many people out? Because I know you in the, the Costa Ricas. So how many people have walked up to you and have confused you for, for being one of them? Like, are, are you of that? No, no that, not, that country, even, that not, even, not even that. People. People will walk up to me and just speak Spanish, Spanish. without without asking me. They hola negrita. That's what they that's what they call me. Negrita. Do they get do they get offended when you tell them no no I'm black? No no no. What I what I do is I I I I will decipher a few words out of all of the words that they've said to me, and I'd be like, see, sí. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Uh, the the way that you should see my face looking at their mouths, like, all right, let me figure out one of these words. They be looking at you uh, with the utter disgust, like, oh, she doesn't speak Spanish. They be like, she's no real, she's no real. It it blows me, yo. I'd be like, mm, well, yeah. Yeah. Baby, looking at you like, oh, like you, you just, you a disgrace to the whole, to the whole ancestry. Just like, oh, I feel like I need to bring out my birth certificate. Like, my nigga, I am from <laughs> United States right. of I, Americas. I, I, I call me some DC nigger, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like El Negro. <laughs> I be like. <laughs> Uh, L nigga, <laughs> just, just <laughs> that's what this is. I feel like, man, I don't, I don't know if it's if it's the the liquor in this cup, but we just L nigga, L nigga. <laughs> We're going through all the the L's over here and shit, yo. But yo, let's uh, let's you ready to kick this off? Man, let's do this shit. All right, yo, let's do this. Let's get it. Mm. 
What up? Let's get it. Welcome to another episode of Late Night with Nate and Adrian. Hell yeah. What International. Up? International style. Internationally known. We out here doing it from all over the world. Out there in the Costa Ricas. I'm here in Chicago. We getting it litty too titty. What you got in that drink over there? Hey, man, I got a little Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc? You got to say it like that. that. Sauvignon Blanc? Sauvignon Blanc? Yeah. I've got, I don't know what the fuck this is. This is some white shit. It's kind of peach. And then I got beer. I'm two fisting. Tonight, so you know, white henny. He got white henny in in a in a wine glass. He and, doing it in Modelo. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cash have you so you can bring me some of that white henny since you out there uh, in oh, another we, country. Yeah, we we, we about to get cop that so, shit here. Yeah, we we copping all the white henny real quick just so we can sell that shit. Man, y'all niggas is alcoholics, anyways. Man, y'all got like the full on bar si, of bars. See, si, senor. Yeah. Go to your crib. I'd be like, uh, can I have a drink? Like, oh, sure. What's your selection for the whole goddamn wine menu? You got everything at y'all's crib, man. Doing a real B.I.G. out here. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you. See? Shoot, man. I got to get up out there to the Costa Ricas. You wasn't scared to uh, to travel? I. You know what? I, I was scared inside. Inside, I was screaming, like, what are you doing? You know, you was keeping your outer thug going. Man, I had a I had a face shield and I had a KN95. And we wiped, yourself, man. We, we wiped down everything. I, in, in the airplane, I wish a nigga would cough. <laughs> <laughs> okay? That had to be I'll, like the two to four hours of like, I'm just keeping everything in. I ain't breathing in. I ain't breathing out. Like, I don't want no cause. If I got to sneeze, I like, guess my allergies, but I ain't about to let y'all niggas know I got to do any of that shit. I'm not about this, to is, this, yeah, this is the most disrespectful t- time in America, in the world right now. You can't sneeze, cough, clear your throat without Nothing. a nigga checking up on you. Hey, are you nah. good? Nah. Hey. One of my homies flew back to uh, Detroit for Thanksgiving and she had on the face shield. She had on the full on, uh, she was enclosed in the white suit, had everything. I was like, all right, I, I'm not mad at the precautions. Like I'm about to be in my own little bubble whenever I get back on a, on a flight. Like that's some, I don't play about that shit. Like, and, and I, I have all year round, I have all year round allergies. So I'm popping Claritin D. Just so I can avoid any extra clearing of my throat, sneezes, itches, because I don't want nobody pointing at me, calling policia, police <laughs> after me, because I I'm like, <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> no, yeah, you, no, I you ain't trying to do me. to do none of of that extra cough and none of that shit. Like, nah, nah, we we just gonna get where we gotta go. My internal organs, they might combust, but hey, it's okay. You know, I ain't about to have y'all whoop my ass. It's about to be no, no type of gang you ever, activities going right. on. I was about to say, you cough. ever swallowed a cough? You yes. ever like You ever like, you felt a cough, a tickle? You felt a tickle in your throat, and you like, not on this watch. Like, the sneeze is the word. You try to catch a sneeze? Have you ever tried to catch? I felt like my eyes about to pop out my fucking head when I tried to catch a sneeze, man. Like that is like the worst shit ever, man. Like these allergies, 2020 has been bad enough already. Then we gotta deal with these fuck ass allergies, just like whooping our asses. I'm just like fucking I'm just tired of this shit. Speaking oh. of shit that we tired of, hell yeah, let's go, go right into to our, one of my favorite segments called I'm Triggered. Ooh, let's Switching go. It up. We're doing Triggered early here. So we keep it in line with uh, our angers. You want to go first? Or you want me to kick it off? Listen, I, I I feel like I need to start this off because this, this has been on my mind. This Ladies is, first, this, go ahead. This has been on my heart. This has been on my heart for a while. Listen, so, speak on it. You got to speak on it. If it's on your heart, you got to speak on it. So, um, news have 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 uh, has gotten out about Lori Harvey. Um, and and all, I feel like as a uh, as a culture, as a society, we know too much about everybody's fucking business, which I agree. which um, at the same time, 
we ain't got shit else to do. So why wouldn't we? I might as well be in your business. Be in your business. But Lori Harvey recently um, in all the news outlets has been connected with Michael B. Jordan. Apparently they they left a private jet and they they uh, together in, in Atlanta. So now she's connected with- She's automatically fucking that nigga. She's fucking him. You, you, any, anytime you want a private jet with a nigga, you know, you just in a picture with him, you automatically fucking so, that nigga. So, so that's what you're saying. So- Automatically, I, off rip, right. you fucking that nigga. So accompanying with a male, yep. you automatically yep. assume that you're smashing. Yep. Those like, okay. like if you see if you see me okay. with Rihanna, just know I'm smashing okay. Rihanna. Just know if you see me with Ree, just know Nate is bagging and tagging. Good, 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 good luck with uh, accomplishing that. Uh, good just luck know. with accomplishing that. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, but that's my, how my, stupid that shit sounds. Yeah, it 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 it, it really does. Um, so this is what this is my this is my issue here i i'm i'm on twitter and everybody's like lori harvey's for the streets uh how is she for the streets if if anything i think she is the smartest person in the game right now i mean yeah she's dating she's she's dating who the fuck she wants to and she has an IUD and not getting pregnant by these fuck niggas. She's using these motherfuckers for what they are for. Okay? And I I, I have a problem. I have a problem with people talking about, oh my God, why why is she so so hot, so fast? That's an old term. You fast as hell. Fuck out of here. Fast Listen. tail. Oh Listen. yeah, they call you a flues, right. a skeezer. A harlot, a, a, a Jezebel, a concubine. Who <laughs> can a, go a through Jezebel. the a list of all of the flu? Did I say floozy? I think I said floozy. Yeah, I was going to say again. Floozy. I'm going to say it again. Floozy. Listen, this is, this, is, this is my whole thing. In your early 20s, you need to be able to do whatever the fuck you want to. You're supposed okay? to be out here skeezing. You're supposed Look. to. And you know what? And it's male or point. female, because let's get rid of that double standard. Listen, male or female, you're that's, supposed that's, to be able to do whatever I, the fuck and, you want to do. Exactly. So and, this, and this and I agree with thing. you. This is my whole thing. If future out here with seven baby mamas and seven children out here living his best life, going city to city, like soiling, soiling, soiling his royal soiling oats. the wild oats, right? Listen, don't say shit about a single ass chick out here living her best life. I'm tired of motherfuckers always always checking on women's vaginas, always have an opinion on what the fuck we're doing and on our on our bodies. Focus on yourself, okay? I agree with you 100 percent And you know, she won. If you want me to be real, like be real. you you left future without a kid. What? Without a goddamn kid, all these what other the ones they have left. Lori Harvey, go. They have left with a with some baggage. Not saying the babies are baggage, but they left with the baby. You know, they left with a baby. That is baggage. It's tr- it's, it's a suitcase. Yeah. A suitcase. Okay. Okay. I, I was trying to be nice. Know. You know, kids are blessings, and you know all that bullshit. But yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> But no, she won. Like her jersey automatically goes to the rafters. Like you left. Oh, and, yeah. and let's say like her and fucking uh Michael B. Jordan are legit together. She leveled the fuck up. Every chick that has left future has went to bigger and look at Sierra living her best goddamn life right. out there with Russell, just living the glorious life out there in Seattle. Just first, all, she's living first amazing. of all, let me let me go let me let me just backtrack to Sierra. Sierra made a song. She said, "All you had to say was say that I'm sorry, and you did not say you were sorry." So she sing, moved. Sing that last part again. Sing that last part again. <laughs> and say that I'm sorry. <laughs> say, that, <laughs> say that I'm sorry. Say that I'm, that's how you know it's, it's coming out. It's like say that I'm sorry. You had to go down to to get that inflection. Get okay, that Johnny Gilda. That's, that's all you had to say. <laughs> Sierra out here pop locked her ass. Sierra, to a Russell, she just went. The nigga went and bought her masters. Niggas doing all types of things. Nigga just like, yeah, I love you. 
This is what a real this man nigga, is. This nigga said, right. this, first of all, you put him on, if you put him on him right, if you put him on him right, what what's uh what's her name? Rashida, Rashida from uh Love and Hip Hop. Oh Hip-Hop. yeah, 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 yeah. Put him on yeah. a nigga, make him marry me, whatever. She Sierra was like this. That you know they you know they are um known to uh they are known to like they they dated and didn't have sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like but, a ninety day rule or some shit. Right, right, right. Whatever. That yeah. that don't, you 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 know you can still do some shit and not penetrate. Let's let's are we sitting here thinking that Russ wasn't doing nothing? I mean, I'm look, Russ was definitely licking something. He might not have been sticking, but he was licking. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, in, in that regard. And as we can see from now, he was like, Oh, you made me wait 90 days. She has been pregnant a lot. Like and Russ, will continue. Russ to. is scoring on and off the field. Like this, <laughs> he's, getting, he's making touchdowns on every point. Okay? Literally, it'll be like, damn, I just had a baby. Then, like six months later, she's like, oh, I'm pregnant again. It's like, damn, nigga, give her some time. Wait, this, wait, wait. wait. See, like, literally was was in the hospital and was like, oh, and he was like, I'm feeling it. I'm like, feeling it, yo. So do you think, <laughs> I'm like, man, if you don't put your dick down for a second, my dude, do and let her think, heal. <laughs> let me, let me, for real, like that nigga is like, I'm on it. Like, look, we only got so much time. Got to get on the road. You gotta know what? Packers tomorrow. Let's do what we got to do. He's trying to build a team. Oh, legit. He about to have some baseball players and football players. Yo, let me ask you this question, though. Let me ask you this shit. Do you think? Sierra like instigate shit between like future and Russ when it comes like give giving. Do you think there's like a little bit of instant like you know what you know this nigga you know he bought you a rollie what you gonna do like some shit like that like I want to know because I'd be like look if I'm the stepdad I got to you know I gotta I gotta show you look I got money too nigga Wait, I got money too first off first of all first off Russ told Navidius the little kid that's his name yes his name is Navidius. As in right. Navidad, Christmas, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Hey. He, he 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 was like, I have to accept you as my son. So for that, I'm going to give you the world. He literally bought the world for oh, Navidius. Okay. All the time. This nigga has a c- certificate said the world is yours. Motherfucker. Like, Fuck out of here. Starting. He was like, yeah, I know your dad bought you a Bentley when you were two. I'm buying you three of them. Like, right. Let's do this. Fuck out of here. He's you, like, we you, always you, run up on each other. You know, future out here watching all of all every move that Russell is doing. Oh, that's what you want to do easily. And now that uh, Lori done broke his heart or whatever, we about to get like the best future album ever. It was like oh, your son gonna be, don't love you. Fire. Your lady left you. It's, it's gonna about be to be like all hoes, fuck shit, misogyny. We about to have like the best 2021 bangers of all time. When future changes, when when future changes his his dreads, his colors of his dreads, that means he's he's on some, he's on some. I can't wait. I can't. I, I legit can't wait. So I think it's. Uh, let me take a little sip. I think it's my turn. Uh, mm-hmm. My trigger. Let me see. It is. It's your turn. Go ahead. Um, my trigger. You know, yesterday was Thanksgiving. You know, I hope everybody had a joyous occasion and everything. Um, but I saw a lot of niggas that was talking about like macaroni and cheese, and it kind of hurt me. You know, like niggas was like, "Yo, macaroni sucks. Like, it's not good. You know, it's just noodles and cheese." And first of all, I just want to say, um, "Fuck all those niggas." Um, like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with them. Like, your mamas don't know how to cook. You know, your aunties, your sisters, or something like who scarred you to where you just think that macaroni and cheese is nasty. Like, I could see if you was like, I don't fuck with mashed potatoes. I don't fuck with yams. I could see that. But, you know, there's two things I don't play around with. Three things. I don't play around with my fucking potato salad, my macaroni and cheese, or my goddamn dressing. Like, you, you can't talk about those things. And it just kind of hurt my heart to hear all these niggas like, I don't like macaroni and cheese. Like, who raised macaroni y'all? Macaroni and cheese? Like, who raised y'all? Or it's like these niggas who like craft. Like, nah, man, we ain't doing no box. Cause you know, you, cause you, uh, that's what I was just about to say. They so used to stovetop. That's why they, like, they're saying. We ain't doing that. Or like the niggas that put like breadcrumbs on, on a macaroni and cheese. Like, 
nah, like those people don't get invites. Like if I see a tray of macaroni and cheese, carbs with, on top of carbs, make make, make it goddamn mix. bread make it on there. It's going in the trash. The whole tray. I don't care if that is your casserole dish. It's going in the trash. And if you don't like it, you can go in there and fish your dish out and go you, home. You know what I, I will say? say. You know what I will say. I'm not a fan of soft macaroni. I like where it's a little burn and crispy. I'm a yep, crispy yep, yep. burn. I need the corners. I need that's, the, it's, you that's, absolutely that's right. Where, that's where I'm at in, in the mac and cheese. This is how like, I know I could eat your macaroni and cheese because you, you come from a good upbringing. You just said it. You got to have that that crisp. It got to be a light burn. I respect. I respect that. I respect that. I a respect light that. level of burnt to it. It's got to be in that square dish. It's got to be a hard brick. It's baked macaroni, not that stove creamy shit. Not that shit that you be getting that fucking Chick Fil A. No, I want you know the shit that you know like yo yo auntie with like the the loose arm jiggle. I want that kind of macaroni. I, I want to be That's able to. I want. I want to be able to sit on the toilet and be constipated after I eat my macaroni yes. and cheese. Okay, you gotta be the backed up. That's, of the macaroni. That's how you know the mac and cheese is good when you are backed up. Like when you have to pray to God. To help you get through that bathroom session, that right, was some good right. macaroni the and cheese. Are, the beads of sweat where you decide that you, if you, you ain't sweat, you have to get butt ass naked to, it ain't to good. really you have to be doing the the rock or so you can like ease it. You gotta ease it, ease it on out. Like I'm 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 just these niggas really pissed me off. I was like, yeah, I, I know who not to invite to cookouts. Other barbecues, other festive occasions, because it's just like I'm gonna get trash macaroni. I'm just getting trash, so you know that that's that mushy gritty. Ugh. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey man, that's that's respect. I, I got I got you. Just sticking with the theme of Thanksgiving, I I feel you. you know, that, that was my trigger, but shoot, let's keep this show right on going. Let's keep it going <laughs> to one of my favorite segments. That we like to call what the fuck is going on? What the Ooh. fuck is going on? How about Getting that? ready to bring in one of the homies to help us run this segment. One of the palest ladies in the game. One of the palest coming straight from the streets of Negro Mountain. I'm gonna let her tell you more about that. Coming in hot with the 1987 basement paneling. Transparency. Come on in here, Chloe. Like, I can't even be mad. I am. I am pretty pale. I am from Negro Mountain. Um, proud, proud of this 1980s paneling. Um, my mom. That paneling screams Negro Mountain. That's what that screams. But I mean, before 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 we legit get into this, I know people be like Negro. What the Negro fuck Mountain is Negro? Fuck? Yeah. You really so have. To, what is Negro Mountain? I was about to explain that. So Negro Mountain, it's a real mountain in Maryland, although they are working on changing it now because so many people have thrown a fit. It's so a real Negro mountain in Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past this racist ass fucking town. Oh my God. Um, so it's a, it's a real mountain that was named because a like freed slave, and not a freed slave, uh, killed a Native American and saved his master. Mm. So they like we're not oh, really free in this oh, mountain. Okay. No. 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 no, so they so dedicate yeah. a mountain to a nigga because he killed a Native American to protect his master. Yeah, what? it's Dude. and I'm coming and I'm coming back to this place on Thanksgiving. So it's a lot of fucked up. Yeah, that's a lot of fuck fuck yeah. ass shit there. No, it's like, a lot I just imagine like when you go to Negro Mountain, it's like the McDonald's sound like over a billion. So it's like like fifteen hundred niggas here. Like and every time a nigga comes in or comes out, the ticker just goes and, like up. ticker honestly and like the ticker probably 20, right now is like at ten. 15, so yeah. <laughs> No, like see, shit. See what, see what the see uh, what our master, the white man, tried to do is they try to pit the indigenous people mm -hmm. against black people, the black people. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. Hotepris. Okay, <laughs> okay, Hotepris. <laughs> Be proud, my brother. That knowledge. <laughs> that Be knowledge. proud, my brother. <laughs> Right. That could knowledge. <laughs> Yo, let's keep this shit moving though. Okay. What, we got, what, what we got for the beige rays? Oh, 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 what the fuck is got going some, on? We've got some really good what the fuck topics. Uh, one of my favorites right now is <laughs> we have to talk about DJ Luke Nasty 
sampling Kirk Franklin's Melodies from Heaven. And for those of you that don't know, DJ Luke Nasty sampled this shit of Kirk Franklin. Kirk Franklin did not say yes One or no. Best things that I have like really ever know. heard in my life. Like I'm about to cue it up. I'm only gonna play a couple minutes of it because Wait. we ain't trying to get like shit right. flagged. Wait, like, DJ uh, DJ Luke Nasty. He was like, "Are you with me?" And Kirk was like, <laughs> he was like, nah. "We doing this, whether you like it or not." <laughs> you know, I'm about to play like a small a small snippet of it right now, so we can we can uh. Hey, okay, drop it. Wow. The, end, the wow. ending is so perfect, though. <laughs> Come on, like it's so fucking good at first because I just saw the artwork at first and I was like, I don't know about this. And like for the people who like are just the listening, artwork like, is hilarious. It's hilarious, but it's, I was like, is, I don't know. And yeah. then I heard it, and as soon as he said, "We are about to make it rain," I was like, Yo. I'm fucking sold. Like, let's go to the club for, now. For those of you I was about who to are pour not all watching, the water on me, well, let's make it rain, in. Yo, for those of you that are not why you listen to us on all the podcast formats, yo, if you could just visualize the the flyer, it is it's a peach, two, right? No, 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 there's two of them. There's two. There's a censored one that has a peach, and there's one with just two big ass butt cheeks, and it says rain. Like it and says she has an rain. Umbrella and she's just like turned around. What an umbrella. Oh. And my <laughs> thing is this, like Kirk, why would you not want to get up on this? Why would you not want to get up on that remix? Come on. Partly because I don't know if you guys remember, but <laughs> Kirk also admitted to having a porn addiction. Do you remember that? Yeah. Whoa, I do not. Whoa. Yeah, 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 he did. So, yep, yep, yep. so anything remotely close, I uh, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna Go mm -hmm. out of the, out of a whim to say his wife was like, "Hey, my man, we not doing it." We. He was letting that meat missile fly before them praise and worship sessions. <laughs> he was just. He, he heard, I'm I'm gonna make this prediction and say, Kirk heard DJ Luke Nasty version and was like, "Hey," but then <laughs> he, he showed his wife and his wife was like. So nah. you know, we're not doing nah. this. Now what we doing? Nah. But and the, the thing with it is though, the shit goes hard. And let's not act like Kirk does not sample secular shit on a consistent. He's done that shit since he's been in the game. This like, nigga's all he's done. We, we we saw this dude Dougie. We saw this dude do the nay nay all that stuff to some gospel shit. Right. But every but, not to mention did. like this nigga will be on he'll be featured on like hip hop artist tracks niggas talking about bitches hoes uh, uh slanging drugs oh. dropping major f bombs and that nigga comes in hallelujah we about to have a prayer it's about una to be pregunta. Una, una, una pregunta i have a question uh what, like what does d what does kirk franklin do actually is he a producer? Is is he a just a, he a, a strong facilitator? He composes because he plays. He's I, a strong facilitator. I think he. I, yeah, he is a strong facilitator for sure. Because I feel like this dude really just initiate the conversation. He tells us before the song actually happens. Like this is what my oh, choir is going to say. Right. Uh, you ready? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? He's that's basically all, telling you what to does. do. It's kind of like he's it's basically like a gospel hokey pokey. Put your left hand in, you put your, he's like, put your hands up, hallelujah. Clap now. That's exactly what so he was does. the he was the wobble before the wobble. That's basically what wobble the yeah, wobble. he he is that annoying ass DJ, whatever they be doing. Try Try cast the slide. Slide. He Try was just that's that's one hundred percent. That's one hundred percent Kirk. Claro, right claro, claro. And you know what's crazy claro. though? Is like the saints, the Christians were like, Oh my god, this is so blasphemous. We can't do that. Like Christians don't like fucking strip clubs. I I just don't understand it's it. Disrespectful. 
That's like, disrespectful. I have said it before and I'll say it again. I'm Christian ish. If I heard that song in the strip club, I don't throw money. I would probably throw some if I heard. Well, that. I don't know why they're acting like they're any better. They're the ones that are like always taking our money, passing around the plate, wanting our money. And I was like, you all guys got so much fucking money, but you come on. See, look, wow. if, if Kirk, if Kirk was really about that action, wow. he would be like, yo, I'm gonna be in the video, right? And at the end of the video, he's gonna put a scripture up as a teachable moment. I was only in the strip clubs. I was spreading the word. I was spreading the gospel. Kirk Franklin was spreading was like, the gospel. That's Kirk what Franklin, that was. Kirk Franklin was like, I don't want to be all up in your videos. Don't want to be in right. your video shows. And you know, if you want to come to me. His clapback in. on Instagram was like, well, also, can, it was just so weird because he like had like three gospel singers and he was playing melodies from heaven. Melodies from heaven. And then halfway through, he was just like, this is the real virgin. And you're just like, my God. You, you know what's crazy? Guy. It was crazy. I went to an HBCU. Shout out to everybody. I went to North Carolina Central. Shout out. Love y'all. My Eagles. Love y'all. But, you know, like on a black campus, like literally, <laughs> Melody from Heaven, especially during homecoming, that shit is played like 85 goddamn times. 85 times. Imagine how crazy that shit would be if you heard the Luke Nasty version. Niggas would be on the yard losing their goddamn Get on up and shake the booty. Get on up and like, shake the it booty. Be, man, 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 man. This is the best homecoming ever. Like, niggas would be like, Kurt, that's a missed opportunity for Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. And like, the Saints really pissed me off because in true Saint fashion, we're showing how hypocritical they are because niggas did not say a goddamn thing when there was a Marvin Sapp remix, which I'm sure Marvin probably didn't clear it, but Marvin wasn't out here like, there's only one version. It's only the original church version. You know, I can't be twerking to my music. No. That's because like, no. That's because Marvin Sapp ain't set tripping and he out here wearing them tight ass skinny jeans like all of them. Girl. Them preacher. Marvin got the John up. Gray's on. <laughs> That's he, what, he got them John Gray legs. That's what that shit is. Yo, let me all let right. me play y'all. Let me play y'all this one because this is the one that no one said a goddamn thing about, which you would think this would be one that would make you know why your mind too. You know why? Because everybody was crying when they heard that version. Go ahead. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> Go ahead and play that. Aider is about to cry. She about to cry. She about to cry right now. Marvin Sepp. What it is, yo. That's all y'all getting. We about to get this shit pulled down. Thanks. But you know what I'm saying? Like niggas didn't say a goddamn thing. So how can I, because if you have heard, if you know what the original song is, you would be like, oh, that's blasphemous as fuck. I, I, will, I will say this. Marvin Sapp is ugly as hell when he sing that song. Ooh, I don't think, but you, you got to have the ugly cry on during it, because that's a song that just like, it takes you there. Like you just... I could I could have smoked a joint. I could have been having the best day ever. But I hear that song. I'm probably I'm about to be crying while I'm smoking. Like, well, I don't know why I'm just moving here, tears. Well, here's my thing. Um, for the next topic, there is some ugly crying. So I need y'all to like strap Ooh. it in because yeah, let's run with it. We are about to talk about this Fresh Prince reunion. Let me take a little swig. A family Yo. reunion. So. I don't know about y'all, but I did not know. I loved it. I loved it. Story around what the fuck happened. To... I think a lot of people did. Yeah, and or I should say we've down. heard some of it, but yeah, break it down for so, us. So, uh, original OG on Fib, Jana Hubert, she basically got pregnant. I think it was at the end of the third season because she only did three seasons, and kind of like wasn't like getting along with the cast, basically. And so in addition to that, she was also in an abusive relationship. So that also was going on. So she basically was just like treating work as work, like coming in, doing the job, whatever. And like, Will wasn't really feeling it and like was trying to like do all these jokes. But Janet was like, yo, like I'm just coming in. Trying she to wasn't feeling it. Yeah. yeah and like go the fuck home, which is like, it's a job. So she, she came got, from that hardcore acting background. Yeah. And she was like, I'm not here for the, yeah. Yeah. Here and, like, for the plan around. People, 
what people don't know is she like originated a role with cats on Broadway. Like that's how fucking dope she is. So she got this contract and this contract basically lowballed her with money and basically said that she couldn't do anything. Athena, that was a good friends. episode. That was a good episode. She was dancing her ass off. Oh, the dance episode? Oh yeah. my gosh. She was like, like honey, don't tell me. honey. Right. She was like, honey, don't tell me I don't know how to dance. Let me show you how to dance. Right. <laughs> and then when she just like drops dead outside of the door, I was like, God damn. But also, yeah. she looks goofy as hell. No, go ahead. <laughs> so she got this contract. The low balder said that she couldn't it was do it. A terrible thing. ass contract. Terrible contract. Spoiler and alert. If you have not seen it, this is your fault. Like, there's going to be spoilers. Yeah. You just seen oh, it by yeah. now. So we're just running through it. So just let y'all know that. Remember, but- remember, it's over. Keep going. Yeah. You should have watched, so- you watched it. So she said no, and they basically said, all right, we'll find someone else. And then they recast her. And then there was, like, more drama, like, going on after that. You know what it was? They sent her ass upstairs like little Judy. And we just came back, and it was (laughs) light skin and Viv. They pulled a family matters on us. I didn't even know, like, as a kid watching, like, I legit thought the OG on Viv was, like, on vacation. I was like, who is this woman hanging out with this family? I, like, don't know. And I realized it was on Viv, and I was like, I don't I, I thought she was like pregnant. It. I thought she was pregnant, and that's why they had to put oh, yeah, the yeah. life in Viv. Because in my head, I was like, "In my man." Because she was I, big I as her. hell when she was uh, when she had little Nikki or whatever, or the the real mm-hmm. baby. But yeah, she yeah. was huge. Yeah, yeah. Like that yeah. was. It was. Um, I, I I did enjoy it. Um, there were some definitely some tearful moments. She didn't back off of his ass at all. Mm-mm. Like she she came with it as she should have. And I mean, she let him know how she felt, mm-hmm. um, which I, I just hope that you know he does the like right she thing. She came. She came with the bag of shade. She was oh, like, she had notes. She came in and was days. like, "Why? I have one question. Why?" And I she, was like, "Oh, okay." She, she smiled. She was just like, <laughs> "Why?" Hey, she she gave her the pitter patter ass hug. Hey, she was like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I, I ripped you about this. Now let's you down this, to this, it. This, 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 this. She went through the laundry list of things. And and Will Smith out here was just like, I didn't know. <laughs> like, yeah, he, he was like, yeah. Like yeah, on I the ultimate, and you know what's crazy? So like, if she didn't speak to Will in like 20 years, it makes me want, did you not speak to none of the other cast none members? Of them. Yeah, yeah. You you know, know, also, yeah I was about to say, you know, you, know, you know, they, uh, Alfonso left because she was talking shit about Alfonso and Will. So Alfonso was like, hey man, I know we doing this reunion bullshit, but fuck this. I'm I'm not seeing this chick. She said what she had to say, I'm good to go. Well I'm out of here. Yeah, there was there was a lot of cash shit that was talked like throughout the years. Like they yeah. on both sides. Like she was talking, oh, yeah. he was talking, like it was a lot well, of a lot ruined, of shit. Like they called her difficult. Like that's a nail. Probably one of the worst things that you can do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. My bad. I meant to talk over. Go ahead. No. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying that that's difficult. But for Alfonso not being there, apparently what happened, because I saw it on Twitter, apparently someone was like, oh, of course, like Alfonso like, wouldn't be there for when like Janet Hubert came back. And she said, apparently Alfonso had a prior conflict because like for taping with like AFV um, and couldn't be there. And she was like, we're over it. We need to move on. And I was like, we're not over it. We're gonna fight for you all the fucking time. I'm not over it. I'm still fucking bitter and angry about this shit. I, I, mean, I will say, yeah, I will, yeah. I was about to say, I will say, Alfonso out here getting that bag on that AFV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even that, but them goddamn Chris Paul commercials. Damn, <laughs> that nigga doing them fucking State Farm commercials. Wig that he's wearing on them State Farms. <laughs> right, real Chris Paul. You know, it, it was definitely cool. I mean, she did tweet out. I'm gonna read a tweet that she. Uh, that she put out after oh, yeah. the um, yeah. after the shit. She said, uh, for, hashtag Fresh Chris reunion. My heart is so full right now. Will, you have freed me from this prison. Thank you. Which, I mean, it's definitely good that she's getting, um, she got her apology. That was good. Yeah. But I'm a person that's okay that bag cool. Exactly. Run me my coins. Like, I do feel like at this point in time, you know, he needs to, Will needs to do something to kind of make this right. Will, He's got enough you money. Know, you know, Will you about know. to do, he about to do one of these. You about to be like, huh. you're like you got an apology. He's not about to run him. She, he not about to run her no coins. But Fuck look, he, out of here. he could put her on. He could legit put her on the new Fresh Prince is coming out. He she could be OG on Viv again. 
Like, why not? Let's let's make it happen. Because there there is one already. It's the light skin one. Wait, yeah, I will man. say, do you remember? Do you recall the episode when they replaced her? And he was like, Yeah, I, I, I distinctively remember this. He played Will, to it. Yep. Will was like, hey, yep. man, you look different. Even, no, that was Jazz. Right. Jazz played to it. Jazz yeah, was like, I, oh, yeah. I remember yep. that. I remember that. I was right. like, so yeah. that's, that's what they're doing? Because Jazz came in and was like, I got a little, I got a, um, what do you say? I got, I got a gift for, for baby Dickie. Yeah. And they were like, who the fuck Nikki. is baby Dickie? Not, Nikki. Yeah, and they were like, they were like, Nikki. And they was like, oh. And then he was like, it's something Nikki. different about you. And Will was holding little Nikki and just looked at the camera and was like, you know. So, they, I mean, they definitely played to, they played to it. To kind of yeah. talk because niggas was definitely it, it was a dig. It was definitely yeah. a dig. It was definitely it was. a dig, but also yeah. like they knew what they was doing. Hey man, puff your chest up. They Listen. definitely knew what they were doing. But one of Listen. those things that I yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just gonna say it was. I think you also have to remember if the star of the show is not ad ad. Uh, he's not accurately like he's Happy. not an actor. He's not happy. He 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 has all these requests and all this other stuff. Yeah. Guess what? It's not gonna be it's not gonna be right. It's not gonna be uh marshmallows and, and fairies. Yeah. Okay. You you also have to understand, play your part. Yes, you are a professional, you are a classically and professionally trained actor coming onto a show where the lead role is a nigga who used to rap or and rap or currently poorly. still rap yeah and rap poorly yeah uh, first of all we we're not we're not gonna, it's not going to be no will rap and slander on here okay nigga won the first rap grammy okay you got to give the nigga credit the first rap grammy he had some okay. bangers uh, let's not uh, act like let's not act like you yeah, was banger out here, here comes nigga out. Back. you know you was out here dancing the men in black song Y'all niggas was getting jiggy with it. Let's not act like y'all niggas wasn't. Let's you not act mean, like y'all niggas wasn't. You trying to? Yeah, because we ain't know it. We had any, We did not have any other options. Options. You listen so? to shit now, and you go back and listen to it. You're like, that does not travel, I, nigga. I, getting I jiggy with it can come on right now, and I'll be like, this is still my shit, nigga. That's still my shit. <laughs> Get your ass up out of here. No, I will say summertime, summertime is a hit. smash. Here All it day. is. Here All is day, every day. Anytime I hear summertime, I instantly want to grill some shit. Like what so we grill. Like in what your top grilling? 10 or something. Like if you have like a top 10 of like rappers. Nope. Of yeah, what, rappers? Like, yeah, rappers. So you Hell like no. so Hell top 50? No. You're Hell not no. even in top so <laughs> What are we talking about? Good rapper then? Top was in top fifty yeah, for what? For, for his time frame, he was a good rapper. I mean, during the people who okay, put it. Look at his class. So like who Adrian said, we don't have a lot of options. We didn't have a lot of options. Okay, that may be true, but still, the nigga had hits. He had a couple of hits. Let's not act like the nigga this didn't nigga, have hits. He, he also like had some misses Delta, though. Like, are you? Just oh yeah, he did. He, he, he had some misses. Oh, listen, he had some. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that was a bad wild, song. Wild. That was a bad he, move. He, he said he passed up on the Matrix to do the Wild Wild West. Yeah, I mean, y'all you know, remember this? Yeah, this nigga yeah. said, "Nah." He read the script. Yeah. Yeah. He read the script of Matrix and couldn't conceptualize. Hey, look, we exactly all we all was. take some L's out here. Every actor, even us, every comic you have. I just took that show. It happens. I mean, I was Wait, a big one, but you it, know. I mean, that, that, was the, that was the biggest L. And and then his wife was wow, and then wow. his wife was asked to do the the, the movie as well. What yeah, that an was, L! That was what an L! Instead of the Matrix. Oh, Last God. thing we got to keep it moving. Last thing I'm gonna <laughs> say about about um about the Fresh Prince shit though. It was definitely dope to hear how they took control over like the writers room Absolutely. and cuz you knew he, all that shit was written by white people and they was like yo black people don't talk like this. So it was definitely dope to see them actually do that and speak up for us. So I mean we need Come on my guy. guy. Come on my man. My blacks. <laughs> <laughs> like no, fucking talks like that. My These fellow like Negroes. All right, my fellow Afro Americans. <laughs> speaking of Negroes, speaking of Negroes and black people, um, yo, like our last what the fuck topic. It's like a good one. So it is a good one. 
black I've been people, waiting for this one. Black people are in space for more than a few weeks. We just had our first banger, banger, niggas yes, in space. Burr, 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 burr. Victor Glover. <laughs> Victor Glover is the first uh, black guy to be orbiting in space. How you for- those edibles? <laughs> I'm not on edibles. Niggas, I was trying to emulate being in space. <laughs> All right. Note to self, don't let Adrian go to space. Uh, <laughs> or Costa Rica, because she's on one right now. We she's have, literally. Don't Costa Rica. We, have to say, we, we also have to say niggas in space. Hey, 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 hey. We ain't been in space since goddamn homeboys in outer space. So, I mean, shit. This yeah. is an accomplishment because I mean, what the the brother he gonna be there what long term and then the uh, the sis she's gonna be yeah. there for like six months so like we Jeanette out here. Epps we gotta we shout her out Jeanette Epps she's going in twenty twenty one we oh, out yeah. here wait he's leaving he's leaving his wife and his children he was like yeah 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 I'll go I'll go I'll go I'll go to Spain he's like man this 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 <laughs> Corona shit too stressful I gotta deal with this at home learning I got so much shit I got to deal with I'm going to space they were like we have like, time to do. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. How long is it? Where am I going? All right, let's go. (laughs) He said, Can they call? Okay. (laughs) Does the Wi Fi work? All right, nigga, I'm out. The nigga was like, I am good. We are taking over space, hockey. We already got the NBA, got the NFL, we got fucking MLB. We had golf golf once. We don't have it anymore. We got to. I mean, Tiger's still out here. He's still out here. Yeah, in a wheelchair, but he's still out here. Yeah, he's out there. Yeah. That car, we we have a NASCAR. That's kind true. Of. We got we tennis. We did Bubba, 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 Bubba yep. Wallace, Bubba Wallace. Yeah, and we Wallace. got um, these names though. These nicknames. Disrespect. Yeah, yeah, we, we got some. Okay. That's Ugh. definitely dope, man. I, I can't wait. I want to hear the stories of, like that nigga in space, man. Like I just want to hear some shit. Hair. I want to. How does that work? Like with the hair and space and the showering, like I just want you know you know that nigga brought all the seasoning. He was like, I can't be I can't be up in space for extended periods of time without no seasonings. He brought the ham hocks yeah. or the greens. This nigga brought everything. Like the he was like, he was like, How can you remove the oxygen out of Lowry's seasoning salt? Like make that <laughs> a thing. This nigga got like space loud for real. He up there getting high. Like, yeah, this 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 is a like, good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this this has been uh this has been a dope. What the fuck? We ran kind of long on this one. But yo, we're gonna uh I appreciate you, Chloe, and all your babe. We you, you wasn't really you know raging. I didn't today. have a lot of beige rage. Today. Wasn't a lot of beige rage. I but, may have you know, some later. Who knows? It's all good. You know, I can't wait to bring you back here and see more of that paneling. But shoot, <laughs> let's keep this show moving. We about to bring in. We about to drop Chloe up, on up out of here. About to bring in one of the other homies uh, from one of our newest segments. One of the newest. It's called Ro B Knowing. She be knowing. She be knowing every goddamn thing. Let's go ahead and bring up in here the queen, the blackest, the chocolatiest queen. Yeah. Ro. What up, bro? <laughs> Let's go, what? Ro. I'm gonna work on your intros. You know, I I, I was stumbling. The queenie you is know, the my, my hair changes all the time. You can you can do that. You know, <laughs> I might oh, be oh. knowing. So what's good, bro? What you be knowing? What you be knowing? Um, you be I got knowing, some, some educational uh, things for you guys today. Is this something like real educated. quick? Um, because you know, after we just consumed all that yummy stuff, you know, on our bodies, <laughs> we just cheese. Right? A lot of mac and cheese. Right. <laughs> um, and so I, I consider myself um, like a game master. And usually for holidays, family events, I bring games. I'm always like, let's play. You know, I'm a kid. Let's play. Um, and so this is a, is a cool thing for your brain, actually. Um, so there's a couple of different things that you can do in life to build like synapses and uh, build bridges in between the two hemispheres of your brain. Um, so I actually saw this one on TikTok, and I, if you guys want to play it with me, basically you're gonna point like this, like have your finger like this, like your thumb pointing and your pointer finger pointing, and the thumb up of the other one, and then you switch. 
and then you just keep going I'm back and totally forth. Fucking Lisa. Nigga, I'm slow <laughs> myself. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I've I'm done like, it a couple times, so it's a little. Oh, there we go. Funny, I got but... it. No, you got to put the other finger down. You can't leave these two up. It's like a, you got a point. Oh, well, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. I, you got to completely I'll... switch it. But you can really I wish y'all like, are watching this. Hand. I wish y'all could see like what's going on. All the other people on the show are like down below trying it. It's the most hilarious shit ever. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not coordinated enough. That's but. really good for your brain that we uh, build new neural pathways in our brain. So another thing that does that is learning a new language. Shout out Adrian, you out there mm -hmm. bilingual. In a moment, yes, in a moment. And playing an instrument does that too. So, you know, you might already be there, but you know, do this. If you ever get bored, if you're on the toilet constipated, like you said, pull your fingers out. You know, go, 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 out. I do want to learn like a new language and everything. Like, it's crazy. I was in, uh, I was in Paris and like, I was like, yeah, I, I had a trip Slight, to Paris. Slight, oh, slave flex. Says the person who's in Costa Rica right now, but I, I was in, I was in. I Paris. mean, pero. <laughs> I went to, uh, I went to order a burger, like a cheeseburger, and like, what's crazy about like French people or Parisians is they make you try to learn the language, and they speak English, but they make you try to learn. And I'm like, ah, I, I can't read this shit. <laughs> Respect, respect to those countries. Respect to those countries that are not accommodating to fat Americans. Hey, look, I ain't no. Well, the craziest thing, I was reading, I was like, "Gordo, Gordo, American." I was like, "Yo, my man, can I get a uh, Chez burger? I need a Chez." He was a Chez <laughs> burger. Yes, he was looking at me like, you know. And he was a nigga too. He was looking at me like he was like, I was like Chez, you know, Chez, Chesburger, Chesburger, Burger, Burger. And some other dude was there. My dude. Yeah, he was like, "What you want, man?" And I was like, no, let me. He legit. He was speaking in French to me. Then he was like, "What you want, man?" And I was like, I, I, "Cheeseburger, please." And I got the fuck up. I know that was roasting me out. It was like silly American yeah. cheeseburger. He's like, but, of course he would yeah. have a cheeseburger. I need to. I definitely need to learn how to, how to uh, speak oh. other languages and shit. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Right. You know, hey, I admit it. Cheeseburger. Yeah, y'all have fun with that one. Cheeseburger. <laughs> it is what it is. You, you know, know they call it a queso hamburguesa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, excuse me, out here with, uh, with you your bilingualness. Literally, you have to make uh, you have to make those faces in order. For, <laughs> you do. I have, you do. I have to make those faces in order to get those accents and inflections correct. Yes. <laughs> your face yes. is in all different ways. That's probably yes. what you're yes. Yes. And these what else you got for us, bro? On the road, you know it. Like, <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, just one, one other thing um, along with uh, the health and brain stuff. Um, do you guys know about aloe vera outside of sunburns? Like the plant? Yeah, aloe vera leaf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody knows. Um, but if you just get a raw aloe vera leaf, they're so cheap, honestly, like maybe a dollar for one, and it's pretty long. You can use it a lot. Um, you basically uh, cut off the bottom. Uh, like a little piece of it and then open it up and it's like a jelly. If you put this on your face, it moisturizes it. And I'm telling you, like, if you just put it on and go to sleep, you wake up and you wash it off and your face is so soft and super hydrated. So, you know, if you was drinking I a lot. It out here, come yeah, through with the health tips. Face mask and it, you just keep it in the refrigerator. Some people even like to scrape the insides out and like put it in a jar and just dip it. I do have to say, about it to have like out here going for real. It smells like armpits. I'm not gonna lie. It smells mm. literally like a whopper. <laughs> like, it's terrible. It's not Jeez. the best. It's not the best smelling plant. But I have a aloe vera plant, and I be because you can I cut off. You can cut off the aloe vera, the leaf, and it'll grow back. Yep. It'll oh. grow back. See that? And, hey, put yeah. that right back up into the, the dirt. I be using aloe vera for dirt. everything. 
thing. Everything. Yes. Okay. We be knowing. I'm, I'm telling you, like, I had, to, I had to drink aloe vera juice. Like, my dad made me, me and my sister take shots of it. Because <laughs> it also is going to be insides and it works as that a natural lab. Come on. It's just a, a wonderful, a wonderful plant along with the other mm. green herbs. We love. <laughs> I prefer my natural laxatives like the macaroni and cheese, you know, shit like that. But you know, them aloe veras, they good. They good for that type of stuff. <laughs> you you talking about some you wanna you wanna stream. I was just about to say you wanna you wanna stream uh caca. You want some uh some some liquid poo? Nah, 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 nah. Don't you I don't prefer a, the liquid poos. Take some aloe vera juice. It'll flush you right on out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I mean, hey, the next holiday's coming. You got to get ready to eat all over. Got to get right for Christmas. Got to get ready for that Christmas ham, that Christmas duck. Right. You got to prepare all that, that. Good stuff. <laughs> you got to want. Your cheeks gone. <laughs> but yo, this is the. <laughs> You got you got anything else for us, Ro, before we keep this thing moving? Nope, that's it. That's it. That was a fun Ro be knowing. I'm definitely Ro interested to see more of what the Ro be knowing that we got coming up for y'all in the next couple of episodes. We're going to keep this thing right on moving. I might as well yeah. and, uh, pop on up out of here. We're about to bring in uh, so. the ladies. Yes. yes, sir. For one of our next segments. Go ahead and run that one in. I get ready to pop my ass on up out of here so y'all can get on up out of here because this is this is one of my favorite segments that we love. Questions, for with, sure. the queens. Questions with the queens, ask the queens. Like Questions I said, we, we remove with your man. Get him <laughs> out of here. Question with the queens. Question, question with the queens. This is a this is the segment where we we open it up, we open our lines up, we we ask you guys to throw in questions, send us questions and inquiries, and we put it out and give you guys advice mm -hmm. right here live. I, I feel like because I'm in Costa Rica, I have an accent. <laughs> yeah, so, you, definitely you, know, do. <laughs> you know when you hear people have an accent, you just be like, hey, my man, I need to match what you doing. So I'm going to have to hit you with this accent real quick. Fake ass accent. I've so been trying to figure point. out what it is that you were doing. So so that's an accent? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That was the no I was just, well, I didn't. Wow. <laughs> what is that? Wow. It's, it's actually terrible. <laughs> God, it, God. You know, it's, it's like, it's good to know that, like, that's what you are attempting to do. It's, you're, you're light years ahead of me. She, you know, like. she said attempting to do. <laughs> <laughs> Open up this book and read it, why don't you? Okay. <laughs> Um, you're doing great. You're doing great. I think. Yeah. You're doing great got you. Got By the you. end of the vacation, it'll be like super. Yeah, it'll, it'll be, gonna be pristine. It's gonna be pristine. They're gonna be like, hey, uh, claro, claro. They're gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Go. Okay. Let's let's. What are let's these questions? Enough of Adrian's let's, accent. Right. Let's get in these questions. Let's get in these questions. <laughs> hmm. All right. What's what's going on with this question? What we got here? Okay. Um, I have been with my boyfriend for six years. I keep dropping him, but I haven't gotten a ring yet. What should I do? Oh, get that I do at the end. That's so beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's not. My boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, because I'm bored. I just hear right. that. You can hit it in the morning. I don't know. You should have a conversation or, or something because six years. I mean, do you really want to get married? That's a lot of money. You could just like. Fuck that. Leave. I mean, you get a little yeah. quick little elopement in, you know. <laughs> That's I, I was about to say, you you out here dropping hints after the first hint. If he ain't yeah. getting it, it ain't he he knows he yeah. knows you're dropping those hints. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that. But I'm <laughs> I'm still not about to propose. Yeah. Also, I mean, I guess you also have to ask yourself, I mean, like, what kind of hints are you dropping? Like, I don't know what kind of, like, hint dropper you are, but there are terrible hint droppers out there. So, I mean, are you, like, trying to be, like, you know, maybe we should, like, go check out Jared or, like, every kiss begins with K. I don't know wherever you get fucking rings or whatever. So, like, are you talking about that? <laughs> are you trying to look at wedding venues or did you actually ask him, do you want to get married? 
This right. must be this must be the most subtle ass hints that you <laughs> that you're passing off to this man. Like, oh, oh, oh my God, did you oh. see her with the ring? Did oh. you see her with the ring? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ain't no man paying attention. I'm I, I, so <laughs> lonely and naked. <laughs> oh, I, I wish I wish I could, I could cover this finger with something. <laughs> Yeah, I think you just tiny. Uh, also, like, I mean, not that like age matters, but like, how old are you? Because like, if you're like in your thirties and you've been with this guy for six, you like, what? You gotta go. You gotta keep it moving. Like, yeah, that's. I think it's like, yeah, it's, there's a bunch of different factors that come in because I know ladies have that clock. You know, if you want kids and you, you know, you want to do it on your own without any help, it's like, oh, you know, you gotta. Maybe he's not for you because I feel like that advice that we've all heard, men will do what they want to do. They Nothing want. that you're going to do is going to influence them. So yeah, in my head, in my head, a after so many hints, I'm thinking you about to lose your job as a boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you about to lose your job. Okay? <laughs> Move the fuck on. Okay. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that that shit is. Ooh. Yeah, and have like, a it's real like, conversation. Tell them like, hey, this is really bothering me. If you're not a man for me, then I'm going. Go. Hey, also, like, check then, his phone. Yeah, maybe that. check his phone and like see what's going the fuck on because like he could be cheating on you. So uh, could be he, he is probably is he, he definitely <laughs> he, he is. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> The fact yeah. that those hints, those hints was not apparent to him. He's out here not worried about your ass because he's too busy on Tinder. Yeah. Or he's just like lazy. I mean, like, who's are you guys like both like bringing in the bread? Like, what are we looking at? Can he not afford a ring or like, like, what is the situation kind of like looking like? Would you, yeah. would you, would you, would you accept it, uh, an engagement if he gave you a, uh, an empty ring box and was like, I ain't got it yet. But I'm gonna have. He, he opens up the box and it's just a little note that says TBD. <laughs> <laughs> a ring pop. Good. A ring pop. <laughs> okay. Give you a promise ring. I promise I'm gonna give you a ring. <laughs> okay. I think. I think there are a lot of options, but at the end of the day, you uh, got to break up uh, with your boyfriend. Uh, six years is too fucking long. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. So yeah. If, uh, unless you're trying to do what's 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 they what's um uh, uh Golden Brooks not not Golden Brooks uh it's some white white couple that's been together for as long as I can remember the chicks from um never mind keep going keep going I remember. <laughs> She's been talking about this, this, like random white couples. <laughs> They've been together for so long. Goldie Hahn. Oh, Goldie Hahn. Oh. Goldie Hahn and his and and her part and his part her partner. Her partner. Her partner. I don't know. Her partner. Well, that's like damn. You all went to Goldie Hahn. That well, that's like Oprah and Stedman. Yeah, that's but they've been together married. for as long, and they were everybody been asking, "We all gonna get married? We all gonna get married?" Oprah's like never. Kurt Russell, yeah. thank you, Nate. Yes. No, because Oprah's just like, "I'm gonna keep my money. He, we, we can date. You can live with me. You, you can be Stedman because that's who you're just." Oh, was drug. like, "I'm about to keep this bang as long as I can." <laughs> and this man, okay, listen. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's jump our next and last, last question. question. Okay, my fiance wants to invite her ex to our wedding. They are yes. friends. Is this a no-no? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. I don't want anybody that you have inserted into at my wedding when I'm the center of attention. So, no. <laughs> yeah, that's that's tricky. Typically I would say no, but I have seen certain relationships that have worked with like people being friends like with their ex. Have so, have I met this ex? Have I talked true. to this ex? Have you met him? Mm -hmm. Have you talked to him? Have you Have we cleared this up? If yeah. if I'm the dude 
I need to meet dude so I can be like, all right, I'm 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 doing way better than this fool. I'm looking better than this fool. I'm secure with myself to be like, this nigga can go in my wedding. I don't give a fuck. I'm about to show the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like that too. Cause like you would say no if you were like super insecure, but if you were like secure like with your fiance and your marriage, then like you wouldn't care. But I would ask and be like, so like I guess like how long have they been friends? That would be my question. You know what Why I mean? Why do you want to invite this ex? Are y'all fucking? <laughs> I I don't know. I just don't like that. I don't, I don't I like that dynamic doesn't sit well with me. Have you guys ever seen the movie um, My Best Friend's Wedding with Julia Roberts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, because you probably have some feelings for each other somewhere. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't like guys. Right. Like especially that. if she's especially if she's going like this is my best friend. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it would be like it would be like kind of different though, like if they had all been hanging out in social gatherings and settings beforehand. Because if they had, then like I guess that's kind of fine, but like if you haven't hung out in group gatherings, then like no, that's weird. You know what I mean? Does like, does he have a girl? True. Is he single? Yeah. True. Yeah. There's a bunch of things that we need to know to answer yeah, successfully. Because like <laughs> so, if he's not single, then like cool. Are you single? Yeah. Single. <laughs> are you sitting over there? You've been crying since the breakup. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. To me, I feel like this is just his his way to be like to ruin it. I'm about to get in. <laughs> right. Is, is that no. the get in face? Right. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl. Mr. <laughs> Steal Your Girl. He's so yeah. Lucky. Right. Yeah. Not stealing anybody's girl. That's a negative on that. No. Anybody no. object? Right. Well, right. right. Yeah. You're gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god that's amazing but, but like why what it, I like why do you want to why do you want to visit or revisit the past leave it alone yeah well, like maybe I don't know I don't know. <laughs> no, like Stevie J we're <laughs> Like, I'll, yes, okay, like, leave the past alone, but, like, I'm saying I've seen these kinds of, like, friendship, ex-relationships work out. I've definitely seen them, like, not work out, but, like, yeah, I don't know. Mm, peace out. Fuck out of here. <laughs> and that's well, Adrian's accent, everyone. Right. Peace out. <laughs> Abu. <laughs> Bubbles. Bubbles. No, you guys are hilarious. Thank you so much. Man, this is questions with the Queens. Uh, we will we we always do this segment because we feel like this is a very pertinent. This is important. Like you guys want the you guys ask for advice. So keep keep them questions coming. Keep them questions yeah. coming. We're gonna we're gonna give you the best answers that we can. If not, you know. And in different okay. accents. We'll give you different <laughs> accents. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Never going to go away. Honestly, Adrian, I look forward to like seeing what accent you have next episode. Like, oh, really it's excited to see the growth. You know, <laughs> next, Kelly from next, Insecure, the growth. I'm here to see. A, a, absolutely. Next episode, I'm going to be fluent in Espanol. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, everyone yeah. heard it. You're going to be fluent Ooh. in Spanish. Is that what she said? I couldn't yeah. hear it. Yeah. She said, "Yo, I said, yo, she just said, such a such a gordo American, okay? <laughs> she, she literally said, I, I we can't gotta, if it. you get fluent, we're gonna, gonna have to put we gonna have to put subtitles, closed captioning, and everything if you start right. to get fluent and shit. So, hey, listen, we're international, okay? <laughs> I, bye. Um, yeah, that's 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 woof. You're doing great. Proud of you." Uh, thank you. Get on out of here. <laughs> He's like, I'm back, niggas. Hey, welcome. We doing this international now, huh? We, we doing all, all Espanol next episode. Yeah, that's what we doing. That's what we doing I, I, won't, right. I won't, but that's. I'm gonna brush up on all of my uh, my foreign languages. Chess, beggars. <laughs> wow. All episode, all 
I'm telling you, if you had seen the way they were looking at me when I left that place, I, you know what? I want I want our fans in the audience to talk so much shit right now. Like if you if you like my accent, please comment. If you despise, oh, this, I can't wait for us to go live so niggas can be in the comments roasting oh, it's that accent. Hard. Cause I also want them to roast your ass, Chess Baggy. Look, man, if if it's believe me, I'm I'm ready for any roast that's coming. But I'm telling you, the niggas that was in Paris, legit, the niggas that was there. You just hit me with a a, a Kanye and you just hit me with a Kanye and Jay Z niggas in Paris. Got you, got but you. them niggas for real was like, yo, these Americans are probably dumb as fuck. Duh. Every every stereotype. Yep, we are. They were like, "This nigga really said Chez." Like it was <laughs> the the worst Borat accent. Chez, get a Chez, and I was struggling. Yeah, he he was looked. Like, he looked at the menu. He was like, oh, "Okay." He read the menu. He was like, "That's what you said." All right. Okay. Cool. Was, cool. Cool. And you know what it is? It's fromage. That's what cheese is. It's fromage. Mm. I never would have knew. I'm Chez. Gotcha. Big. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to like like a McDonald's or some shit and just be like, let me get a Chez. I wanna fuck with him. Chez big. They're gonna be like, huh? And you be like, is this nigga French? I'm like, yes, Chez. Well, you <laughs> <see this shit. laughs> I'm trying to start to talk, yo. I, I had a re-up on on, on yo, my glass. This white so, henny ass nigga. Go ahead, finish. Be like, yo. Let's uh let's let's finish up. Let's go into uh the last segment. One of my favorites. One of my of favorites. All I said about every segment. Well, this one really is my favorite because y'all know I likes to get high, 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 high. So we about to we about to get into uh nothing blunt facts. We're gonna bring in uh, the rest of the homies. So we can kick this off. Let's go ahead and bring them in, and we'll explain what this new format is looking like. Yes, sir. Shout out to the gang. What's up? No sleep crew. We all up in here. Hashtag no sleep crew. We do what's going on. This Hashtag Mountain. Hell yeah. We're about to get this kicked off here. Roll out here. Roll out here finishing up her tea. She too fifth of the tea <laughs> over there. Legit. <laughs> I just like the blood, okay. I also am drinking the Sauvignon Blanc, okay? Mm. Bro, you had, you had that, that two-hand of, like, I've never had anything to drink in so long. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll real quick. Real quick. All right, well, well, hold up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll, keep, we'll keep it rolling. Well, this is really roasting me. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't forget that mask. Don't forget oh, that mask. Where's she going? Where's she going? She, she always has to go to the bathroom. She went to the bathroom. Oh, going to take a she picture. Oh, her computer is like in the like if a nigga just ran by and like stole her shit. Yeah, <laughs> <little nigga. laughs> she just came by. like top five moments of late night with Nate history. That shit would be like number one mm-hmm. off Man. the bat. Like for real. Like if a nigga just came and sat down and was like, "What's up, niggas? What y'all doing?" <laughs> like I would die laughing. Like. Oh. Um, <laughs> Are we on the air? We live. I hope someone yeah, just man, ran the box by. I hope it's legit. Like, I hope somebody walks, because he's outside, so I hope like a little monkey or something walks by, like <laughs> tap some skate keys on the computer. Like, the it, monkey's going to take a computer, too. Yeah, yeah. Computer. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can't trust the monkeys, man. The monkeys is, is dangerous. Some of them kind of monkey fuck around and shit. I be watching Animal Planet like when I get high. Nope. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Animal Planet High is the fucking best, man. Oh, have you watched? Um, not not just Animal Planet. What's the other one? Um, it's another one. Um, Nat Nat Geo. Not Nat Geo. It's what what is it? Earth. It's another one. It's like Animal Planet or I mean, it's like something like that. Yeah, Planet Earth. Yeah. Planet Earth. Earth. Yes, 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 yes. Man, get high, niggas, Come out your man. mind. You you be cheering for some animals too, and hoping that they don't be eating them and shit. I forget which Legit. animal. I think it was like, was it a lizard or something that was like trying to like make it through this like death trap or something? And I was legit. I was like, I thought I I thought I was watching a football game. You would have thought it was like a football game because I was cheering <laughs> for this goddamn lizard 
to make it pass and to like live because I was like, life is not fair. That's like when you watch sea turtles, you're like, oh, these sea turtles, you mean they got Cheer for them yo, to make it to the fucking yo, Did y'all see the video? Uh, it's like it was like Florida. Everything happens in Florida, but the video <laughs> where like the puppy or whatever got like ate by the alligator, no. and the white dude went in the water, had his cigar like still like full on in his mouth, like beating <laughs> up the alligator. alligator for his dog. That dog, yes. dog. He legit jumped in the water, beat the shit out wow. of the alligator, like grabbed the alligator's mouth. Puppy run out. Homie did Damn, not. Niggas don't give cigar. a fuck. Homie yeah. did not drop his That's cigar. My dog. I only paid two thousand for that dog. Yeah. Only <laughs> like a white person would fight wow. a dog. Only a Caucasian would care that much about a dog. I'm telling you, a lot though. So I that dog. That's why I was like, I would have done the same thing. Fuck if you talking about. <laughs> They cost like three thousand dollars. I'm uh, like, oh, I'm gonna start it. No, this, was, this was not a three thousand dollar dog, though. This was one of them dogs where it was like you could afford to lose this. This was like a mutt. This was not one of those three thousand dollars. RIP and keep it moving. You shed some tears. No. Start a few. Nigga, I'll right. get a one now, one man. Let him take that. L move on. Uh, I'm not what dying for dog. no dog. I'm not yeah, a family, dog. All right? You can live. You can live without one of your arms and your dog. Oh, yeah, no, that dog don't want to live. No. That dog getting fucking bit up by an alligator and no. shit. Let her die. It's done. Yeah, it's you die. What? I got a new puppy. I already found a new puppy. What puppy? <laughs> that puppy's gone. You just made it. You was a snack. You you got too close to the water. You got grabbed. Like, I got a new dog. Nuh-uh. That is, uh-uh. Out I'm here, out here in the mountains, if your dog gets lost to a coyote, what do you, you say? R.I.P. You go get a new dog. That's how. That's exactly. how nobody fighting a coyote. We're just like, oh, oh, okay. We see what you did here. That's bad. Go back to the table and get hey, a new hey, dog. Coyote got his meal, man. He's hungry. Coyote. Go out there on the, the yeah, rescue yeah. ranger hunt. We out here saving puppies in the Everglades. <laughs> <laughs> at all by the time because she'd be like, Well, I lost the right arm to the coyote, I lost my right leg to the alligator. <laughs> in, Rose gonna be to the bear. Rose announcing her new show coming to Animal Planet. <laughs> Rose be saving, yeah, saving <laughs> these animals. <laughs> me, puppies. <laughs> One animal oh, at a time. Not kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> You just got to know when to take the L and like, it'll be a hurt. Like that L is going to hurt, but you animals gotta... didn't know what hit them. Nah, that's not what your <laughs> life though. Up. The smell of cocoa butter was the first thing that they smelled. <laughs> and after that, she saved some animals. That's <laughs> what oh I my God. <laughs> Well, Ro, you're going to be the new like Sarah McLaughlin, like coming on those channels. Like what's going to be your oh, song? Yeah. RB music, eight oh wave and shit. <laughs> Rico is missing an arm. His phone is abandoned. Him. Nah, we, we need a we need a black oh people's arm. Nah, we, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be no Sarah McLaughlin shit. It would be It'd like Sabrina Baker. Yeah, it would be like yeah, yeah. Sabrina yeah. Baker or some shit. Or like, oh. You know, I don't know. It would it would be like some Patty Labelle because it's since it's like some animal shit. It'd be like some I need you. I need. that would be some shit like that. Honey, I love you. Oh, oh my God. 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 I would I would give you my money. Arms of an angel. I just turn it away. I don't need to cry. More than you ever know. I'm here to stay with the animals. animals like show. Can we can we just switch and talk about how Nate sounds like Ernie from You can Street. always count oh on my gosh. <laughs> Forever <laughs> more. I love you know animals. what? He sounds exactly like you that. Sound like Ernie. Oh. Are you Ernie? Are you Ernie? Hey, Nate, are you the voice Ernie. actor from Sesame Street? Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey Bert, hey Adrian, welcome back to the show. We just been talking about Rose saving animals. Hey, Rose saving animals. Rose gonna be uh, got a new show coming out on uh, Animal Planet called Roby Saving. Uh, Yeah, she's gonna be saving animals. Uh, You know, so that's. Yeah. What you missed? <laughs> Allergies and all, asthma, <laughs> can't even catch I'm up. Saying. That's what makes it so incredible and impressive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're going to be out there like, oh with your 
She's going to be humanely releasing animals back into the wild. <laughs> you would just be popping your inhaler before you like go like wrestle an alligator. Like, and I'll go with this here is a Madagascar, Madagascar and uh, electric snake here. You know, they only come out only so often. <laughs> That's I would, I would actually kind of love that. <laughs> I, I can see Ro out there doing it. Ro will be out there in like the huts of the jungles, like yes, let's go save some animals, guys. Yeah, I would. Oh, I would sponsor and watch the shit. Out of oh, I would too. Oh my god, I would totally watch. Roby saving. Roby like, saving. Save some animals, <laughs> Oh my god! Saving. You would get. You just imagine like the setup on that shit. It'd be like coming to a theater near you. <laughs> Roby saving. These pigs are about to go to the bacon factory, but Ro saved them. Now they're living out their lives on a farm in Wisconsin with white people. Ro and like, be and like the most, and like, like one of like the most dramatic like plot points will be like, since you have so many allergies, like you accidentally like couldn't save a cat because you sneezed and like dropped it, and like that was the one cat. That was the one cat. Yeah, like the one cat you tried to save, and then you lost it because it like fell. Don't like, yeah. no, get Rose's record. Rose's record is like thirty and one. It's always that one that's. <laughs> like, hey, I lost one. <laughs> She has one, oh, and then, and then she, she has like a little shrine, and she like walks in and looks at it, and like pans to the camera, and is like, just starts, oh, Mr. Mr. Boots, no, Mr. Boots, I couldn't you. Remember, oh, right. 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 Oh, oh, my God. This is the Mr. Boots sanctuary, where all the rescue cats go to Mr. Boots sanctuary. <laughs> 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 oh no! <Lord. laughs> oh, I told y'all this. This the wine is talking. So shoot, let's Adrian's back. Let's keep. Let's get on. Yo, y'all niggas ready? Y'all niggas ready? Yeah, to we're ready. Back? Let's Yo, go. We, we gotta. So yeah, for everybody that's watching, thank y'all for your support and everything. We are changing nothing. Blunt facts. This is now a new game show format. The four of us will be playing. Marcus will be the one uh, reading out the questions. If you get the question wrong, your ass is out. Can't answer it no more. You're up out of there. We're going to keep going until we have a winner. So uh, niggas get blunted. You know, eat your eddies, whatever you got. I got my bowl right here. So let's do this. Here's what the question is, Marcus. Word. Question number one is an easy one. Also, keep in mind, audience, they're texting me the answers. They're not going to say them out loud. They're going to text me the answers, and I'll read them aloud to them. All right, we're, we're going to start out with an easy one, weed-related. Don't Worry, Be Happy is a song by Bob Marley. True or false? Oh, I know the answer to that one. Wait, wait, wait. We have to private chat you, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a private, um, we got a private like, um, message up. Damn. That private if, message. If someone gets us wrong, we may have to rethink this group. Don't worry. <laughs> I got to go. I don't even know how to fucking phone go. Uh, oh, shit. Am I going to be wrong? I'm just going right. to be happy. Right? Gonna, right? I, don't, I feel like I'm going to be wrong. I don't know that one. I know that one. I'm going to be kicked out. I didn't think it texted me then. Talking about some, I, I know it. it. I ain't got some message. I, I don't know. I don't I'm know. Message you and group me, man. Wait, wait, wait. I'm about to message you on group me. Yeah, I'm about to message yeah. you on group me too. Yeah, just yeah. Like... it's supposed to be on group me on yeah. a yeah. private, yeah, private message to him. Oh, here we go. I'm like, how you do a private message? I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so just so we can repeat the question. Don't worry. Mine in. I already know what it is. I sent mine it's in. Bye, Bob in. Marley. Hold on. Let me put mine in. All right. Adrian, yeah, are you Googling? That's, that's what, what Adrian is doing? doing over here. She's we not Googling. She's Googling. Are. She's cheating. She's cheating. We're not Googling. Peter's neighbor, neighbor, neighbor prospered. Nah, give me that little side look. <laughs> nah. I already nah. messaged you, Marcus. Nah, Bro, she just was, quoted some shit. Treaters never was, prosper. Nah, she was looking up. She was looking up some lyrics. No, I, wasn't. <laughs> I was no. Adrian, was send me the answer. Send me the answer. Oh, Adrian, no. reminds me of like and lyric accents and shit. 
First of all, I had the longest pee of my life. We thought about yeah, you was... your laptop. Yeah, for real. I thought yeah, no, yeah, we thought about you going to get your shit. shit. Yo, where's your answer, G? We got three, three out of four answers. I put mine in there. I know. We got three out of four. So who we waiting on? I Adrian. Said... Nigga, I sent you a message. Uh, you in Costa Rica. I think it's taking it's taking longer to get here. Hey man, fuck you. I <laughs> you ain't got that good Wi-Fi. That's what that is. No, nah, for it real. Says, it says ten seventeen. <laughs> I put it in. Word, yo, do me a favor and put that shit in our little chat because my Wi-Fi is not participating. <laughs> Damn, y'all niggas got this. Boot. Yeah, y'all got like a, y'all got I that. Know, I'm, uh, struggling. I'm not gonna lie. I got that Teddy Riley uh, Wi-Fi, which I got going on over there. It's got like a nigga on top of the roof with an antenna. Word. One leg out, like, all right, to the left, to the right. All Shit. right. Yeah. All right, we're ready. We got yeah. all four answers in. The three all right. question. Don't worry. Be happy. It's by Bob Marley. <laughs> Right, okay. that's what we, we remember. That that's the question. Word, it's by a nigga, but it ain't by Bob. Because we got two niggas that are eliminated right off at the bat. Okay, it's hey, oh. we keep it okay, it's me. It got to be. Don't worry, me. be happy. Is not by Bob Marley. <gasps> oh. It was another nigga. I don't remember his <laughs> name. Nigga named Bobby McFerrin or some bullshit. Yeah, but it definitely wasn't Bob Marley. No, nope. but who made it famous? Bob Marley. No, no he didn't. Bob Bob Marley Marley song. Song. You're thinking about don't worry well, about don't white, about, um, white people made it famous by thinking it's fucking Bob Marley or some shit. That's not even Bob Marley. It's not. It's Bobby oh, McFerrin. What's the song though that you're thinking of? That's you Bob thinking, Marley. No, you're not. You're thinking of a, a nigga who has dreads and smokes weed and from Jamaica. So you thought it was Bob Marley by default, no. and it's not. It's Bobby McFerrin. Yes, yeah, it's Bobby McFerrin. Yeah. Then I'm thinking of. No, I'm thinking of a play. Then maybe a play that I saw fucked up. You thinking of Exodus? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, damn. Well, so who got it wrong? I'm kicked out of the group. No, so. Chloe got it wrong. Adrian got it wrong. I mean, you ain't got. You could have just removed the breaks. You don't gotta say it. So it's just me and Rose. Yeah, you niggas right. not playing anymore. I was. I got Mark's in first dark. I mean, look, bro. Damn, we got one on one. Was fishy. We keep Dark's going after this. We got seat. Nate versus Rome. We Which keep going after this. After crown. we get a winner. <laughs> chocolate so versus chocolate. Let's ready, go. Ready. You ready? Okay. There are more trees on Earth than stars in the galaxy. True or false? Ooh. I don't know, because niggas be cutting down trees for paper and shit. So I don't know. You don't know this shit. I feel like, I feel like this is like a like a fake question because I'm like, you know, the stars are technically dead, but by the time we see that light, it's like, you know, a lot of stars you know where like the star has already died. But also, do we actually know how many stars are out there? This is a cerebral ass question. Yeah. Was, uh, looking out the windows when he wrote the wing down this shit. <laughs> nah, I counted. I counted one by one by myself. Marcus was like this. Does the trees <laughs> and the stars. Marcus was banging on some bongos and he tweeted fucking uh what's that smart nigga that be doing all the space shit? Uh what's that Neil, nigga's name? Neil, Neil deGrasse. Yeah, Marcus was like, let me get up my, my brother Neil deGrass. Um, <laughs> He's never been cleared of his by the way. Yeah, I think he was clear of that. I think he was he was clear to oh, this nigga. This nigga put a Pythagorean theorem uh, soliloquy of why he wasn't sexually harassing people. Right. Here, the data shows <laughs> carry the three. I was nowhere near her when they said I did it. When the so two are in. in the two points are, uh, I was like Pythagorean theory. If an it's apple foolish. falls at 2.5 seconds and rolls down a hill, you'll see I wasn't there. <laughs> this is a math problem as story. Hey, man, right. Americans are like, I don't even want to have to try to figure it out, so I'm just going to take your word for it. Math is involved? Nah, he's right. Yeah, he's right. No, he's right. He could have did it. He could have did it. It's math involved. Like, nah, he wasn't there. Nah. This man literally put in, in his explanation, a math problem. He was like, 
If the Jesus. two stars Broke are that shit down. <laughs> you know that nigga got his ass whooped in school. If it was like teacher was like, all right, guys, we're about to go for the day, but we didn't get any homework. That nigga got his ass whooped hey, repeatedly. Wait, he got he got his ass whooped repeatedly <laughs> on the fact that his fa- his parents was like, you not going to school with no lining. Yo, <laughs> wouldn't it be some shit though? This is probably some high shit. Wouldn't it be some shit if that nigga could hoop? Like if that nigga was legit out here getting oh, buckets, he, he understand the physics of it. Exactly, like, this nigga's getting buckets. The make all like, the mechanics dang. or whatever. This nigga's banking every shot in. He's banking threes. Yeah. He's just like, yep, I called it. I he called did it. A, he did a quick <laughs> math problem, and he was like, if if this obtuse <laughs> angle, he's like, I, so, called <laughs> I called it. <laughs> hey. Yo, hey, I want to. I want to know how many stars Marcus counted. What? Yeah, what? Nate, did you hit me able to answer, my guy? Oh wait, let me, let me do. Uh, hold on, what's the question? No again? Google searches. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm about to, I'm about to actually tweet the Damn. or put my answer in. There are more trees on Earth than stars in the galaxy. I know the answer. All right, I got my answer in. See, hey, I got my Guardians of the Galaxy enough to know, so I put my answer in. Adrian and I fucking know the answer. We're not still in. This is honestly Word. recount the votes. Recount the votes. This is not. Thanks. I, I would like to reclaim my okay. time. Yeah, we want to reclaim our time. We, we got both answers time. in. Yep. Cause we, All right. Because we got we got Barkus Mark. Marcus Mark Manx. Who the fuck are you talking about? Marcus Manx out here. Yes. Constructing <laughs> these questions out here when this nigga out here, these are literally weed questions that this nigga does not What's smoke. The weed? Because because I mean, I That's was I was in an assignment to find questions that confuses high niggas. So I think I'm doing a great job. Don't listen, don't listen to Adrian and I. Job, We're just thank You're doing thank great. You so much. We're, We're some, we some, we some bitter, we We're some bitter store losers. Y'all better. niggas yeah. lost in the first goddamn round. Like, this is yeah, yeah, it's wow. okay to be wrong. We let you, you know no what this means. You know what this means. This, this is actually, this is a win for Team Dark Skin. That's what this is. Don't even matter between me and Rogue Exactly. This is a win for Team Dark Skin. I'm not even mad for me because I know where I am. You think Adrian's light skin can like... Adrian, you can see yourself Team Dark Skin? Adrian? Chloe, you gotta pick a side. You gotta pick a side. First of all, first of all, oh, I, I like consider my one hundred P. Oh, we know you oh, red yeah. ball, but what I'm saying is you are not. I am brown skinned yeah. and I will cut a mofo if you wait a second, wait a second, Ro. What what is this? What is this? What is this? What, what, is, this? what is this? What is this? You seem like to me. <laughs> I mean, oh. if we're really doing this, uh, no, don't, don't let this light. Do we want to do this? Don't let this light. Don't let we, this we, light we see what you see. If I take my light away, though, you can't see me. That's what dark <laughs> right. is. If, if me and Ro turn these lights off, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's hold on. If hey, me and Ro turn these lights off no. here, boom. Hey, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this dark right here. Hey, I feel like I should turn my light off. You still be. You able still to gonna be bright. You still, still gonna be bright. bright. It's still on off. Same difference. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Light you, you, me and Ro. You, 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 all you see is glasses for me and Ro. That's all you see. Glasses and teeth. Glasses and teeth. That's all you see. I am a brown skin, beautiful black woman. Okay. This is still a win for team dark skin. Go ahead, wow. Marcus. Why was good good? Wow. The fact He's or the right. thing that I said was are trees, are there more trees on Earth than stars in the galaxy? I can't Nate stand this. Which galaxy? <laughs> Roe said false. Nate was wrong. Roe was wrong. There's three trillion motherfucking trees on Earth and like 40 billion stars in the galaxy. What? Crazy shit. I'm not saying you don't know. There's a like fucking star. Dumb ass. Crazy shit. See, I'm thinking about what about the galaxies we don't know about? It's galaxies that we ain't even been to. Well, Niggas, you know, we talk, we're talking about the galaxies we know, though. How are we going to count what we don't know? I know? just thought, isn't the world covered with more water than 
uh, you know, land. I was just thinking there can't be. There can't be. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's a fucking That's what I'm thinking too. Trees I was thinking about like, niggas destroying the rain. I mean, they, they probably count trees that are like this big still. <laughs> that's probably <laughs> even trees. They're probably like two inch trees that's like in the count or whatever. Because they, they definitely it's not like, trees. 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 like 10 foot motherfuckers out there. I feel like. They're so damn. For me and Rose. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> so we gotta be. So, so y'all got to do one more question. Yeah, we're yeah, doing one more. It's still a work team dark skin, though. But let's keep these questions going. We ready? Ready. Work. It's okay, Adrian. So, you can hate. Oh, you can Lord, hate. yo, you know what? I got an idea just now. Either this time or next time, we're gonna do team dark skin versus team light skin and just like count up the points at the end. Not this time. I'm down. I'm, I'm fully it's fine. Side, Chloe. No, no, no. No, I, no, 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 no. Look, 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 look. I know where my place is. I'm willing to be alone in my like if it's like just so you're a free agent. We, we don't we don't have to panic. We understand you're an ally of Team Dark Skin. You're a free agent. It's, no, we, it's, it's embrace your team. I just like, feel bad for Adrian because <laughs> she's like I, I'm not saying I'm just no I'm just saying like free agent. I Adrian doesn't Adrian. You don't have to play with me. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, uh, listen, you know, listen. I, I see what they're trying to do right I know, now. I see. Yeah. I see what they're trying to do right now, and yeah. you know what. We're just having I, I, fun. We're just getting facts. I, I We're roll, contemplating the earth and the facts of I, it. I, oh, I, if if you tired of if you tired of light skin together. dancing all up in the I, video, if you oh, tired, I, if you tired I, of not being able to do what you want to do because oh, the light skin just oh, Nate and okay, sure. the time, okay, sure. Then come on over to Team Dark Skin, okay? I, I, <laughs> come I, over to Team Dark well, Skin. Well, guess what? We about to go. If that's what we about to do, Team Dark Skin. We out here light skinned it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I fuck it, fuck it. New rules, skin. new rules. Hold on, new let rules. me let me get a right let me now. like let me get team, a big Team Light big Skin versus Team here. Dark Skin. Sudden death. Oh, team you, light you think skin, you, you team dark skin. Real okay, right now. Does, does, does okay. my voice matter? Does, does my black voice matter? Team dark skin, real team light skin, sudden death, right now, final answer. Okay. No, we, we big snow out here, motherfucker. Big snow? <laughs> yeah. Or big, real so here's what we're gonna do. Cloud smoke right there. Here's what we're going to do. Disrespectful. Blow my smoke in your face, nigga. Real disrespect. What are we gonna do? Yo, y'all niggas drank and smoked way too much. I'm trying to host my shit. I'm gonna keep interrupting the host. I am in charge. <laughs> do you not see him with his microphone? He is in charge. Let him speak. We just I am to the the whole whole and I will be respected and listened to. Yeah, we, we just we, no, no, he says, Yeah, we gotta respect. We would never do this to Alex Trebek. All right, Mr. Marcus, can I go to the bathroom, Mr. Banks? I'm saying, bro. All right. We guess Here's right. what we're gonna go do. Ahead. Light skins are going to be on a team versus the dark skins. I'm gonna ask one more question, and the Let's motherfuckers who get it right win. And then, and then one only one person on the team has to text me on account of their team. Okay, word. We ready? Right. Here right. is the motherfucking statement. Maine is the closest U.S. state to Africa. True or false? Maine, the rapper. What are you talking about? No, Maine, the state oh. of Maine, is the closest state to Africa. True. Bro, or I'm gonna text you. False. I'm sending you a message, bro. Um, would it be? Damn, I'm trying to think geography. <laughs> <laughs> we out here trying to remember what the fuck the right. map looks like. God damn, you really I'm just said I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, man. <laughs> Okay, okay, I got got an answer. I gotta message you. 
All right. Do, 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 do. All right. This is, this is for the light skin glory. <laughs> light skin warriors. That's what y'all going with it. The light skin warriors. Okay. Yeah. What we do around? What's, What's our name? name? <laughs> dark skin. We are here. G. We are here. Gold state warrior. Because we're gold, not just me. What you say? I'm Steph. You Clay. <laughs> Splash right. in our answer, the dark skin niggas versus the light skin warriors. <laughs> <laughs> you just start. <laughs> no. Oh man! Shout out to everybody that is watching this. We appreciate you on uh, YouTube. We are also on. Nigga, open your eyes. All of <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Platform. All y'all listening, we appreciate y'all. You know, uh, no sleep crew. <laughs> we are giving y'all an extended episode. <laughs> All right, here's the problem. Yo, this shit is like making my eyes what, what, what's and my what's cheek. What's the problem, Marcus? We got. You niggas answered the same thing, and that's fine. We're having fun. We're keeping the round going then. I, I'm gonna keep it going after this. But I just want to announce that it's true. And both people, both groups figured yeah. out that it was it's right. I'm gonna give one that stump right. you, okay? Like give one. Words. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas. How to make y'all have a different name. Okay, what's the what's the dark skin name? What's the dark skin name? Niggas. That's the best we can do. So, so that's like what we would name the team. All black Air Force yeah, One energy, dog. <laughs> All black Air Force Ooh. One energy, bro. Uh, ain't nobody got time for you. We robbing niggas. We robbing these niggas over here. It's all black Air Force One energy, dog. Don't you meet Mill or this bitch? All black Air Force One energy. <laughs> I wish this goddamn Scully had eye holes in it. Because I'd be on this motherfucker <laughs> just like. What niggas? Oh my god! I'm I'm the the warriors. No, no. <laughs> uh-huh. We the Golden State. Okay. Yeah, we golden right, out here. So we both got that one right there. So uh, what's the next question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We gotta do one more. We gotta do one more. Look at me, dark skin. We gotta be dark skin. We gotta be dark skin. Get rid of that banner. Get rid of that spelling error. Even the host makes mistakes sometimes. <laughs> we're gonna do one more, and if we're, if we're just gonna we're gonna do one more, see what happens. If we have a winner, we have a winner. If we don't, we don't. It is what it is. I hope we have a winner because that'd be really fucking funny to me. All right, final question. <laughs> Illinois was the first state to recognize MLK Day. True or false? It's a lot of niggas in Chicago. No Googling. Do not look up the answer. Just keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Why is so what are you doing here, bro? I'm from Maryland. I don't just know. Throw, I was about to say, just throw it in there. What what are we gonna do? Lose? Lose and become more light skin. I think that's the punishment. Oh my god, you mean the win? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, you know what it is. If y'all niggas lose, you don't get real dressed and y'all get stole top stuff, and that's what it is. <laughs> y'all niggas gotta eat box macaroni. That's it. All the shit that you don't want, that's what it is. That's fine. This may this man take a couple pulls from got the one with real real thuggerish real quick. Yeah, trying you to force dope type stuff in and the line. craft mac and cheese down our throats. Like you gonna eat this, you like <laughs> Hey, did you turn our answer in? Um no, I'm gonna do it right now though. This hot this hot. <laughs> All right, boom. I sent the answer in. All right. What, I mean, what can we do? Final seconds, championship, game seven. Damn. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So the statement was Oh no, I'm nervous. Illinois was the so first state to recognize MLK Day. The light skins came in with true. Yes. The dark skins came in with true. 
Oh my god. That shit was false, nigga. It was false. Y'all were both wrong. Oh god, we lied. I, okay. I knew it. I knew I should have yeah. put false. I knew I should have put false. I knew okay. it. Here's what we're going to do. I want to veto One more question. Shit. I guarantee the shit will end it. Okay. How long do Twinkies last on the shelf? The team with the closest answer wins. Oh. oh. Ooh. How okay. long do Twinkies last? I'm going to say 20 años. Are you speaking another language to me? We know that. We know what 20 is. <laughs> Okay, it's a romance language, and I know what French twenty is. Is bon? <laughs> oh, this this one right here. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen, like, listen. She never. <laughs> wait, wait, listen, light bright. You say whatever you want to say. Okay, I am on your team. You passing me the ball, Clay? That's so nice. I'm, I'm passing it. Okay, Kobe. Okay. Uh, we're talking years. What are we talking? No googling. <laughs> Nate, you you uh you, you want years? Uh, I'm giving you a no look right now. I'm giving you whoever a no gets the closest one. No look pass. Okay. I'm giving you this All right, no I put look it pass. in. Put it in. No look pass. Word, word. We love it. We got answers. We love it. I don't know. We got answers. I don't, I I'm thinking about those Family Guy episodes where they survive on the Twinkie. We got answers. <laughs> I, I know one thing. Them Twinkies last forever. <laughs> like, but well, well, for real though, are we legit thinking they last forever, or is this like white people telling us they last forever? How many? I thought an article was broken Twinkies like about Twinkies lasting forever. Like I feel like I read it. I just remember the years, but I, I remember like that's, that's not long true. Time. I feel like that's just a myth that white people have made up, and we just ran with it. That's what I feel. I like. would love to see that reflected in a concrete answer message to me. That'd be that'd be dope. I'd love that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Answer has been submitted, sir. I'm Word. thinking logically. I'm not thinking <laughs> about like. Oh, he was trying to like. He was trying All to right. like, like information from us. Before. I ain't Bobby thinking like man, the host years. of nothing but facts has acquired two answers. I would like to provide some context for what I've stated. Okay, okay. so Twinkies are commonly assumed to have a shelf life of forever, which is why I asked how long. Do Twinkies last? Forever. Because the fact that they ask forever is a motherfucking lie. Okay. Team yeah. White Skin came in with 15 years. Okay. 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 Team Dark Skin came with 40 days. What? The answer. Thinking logically, one five <laughs> days. Team <gasps> Darkin wins. Wait a minute. I want to see him. I need dark skin wins. No, don't be speaking to my lawyer. Anytime light skin no. talks, I get in the horn. Like Karen energy right there. Get your lawyer. Anytime light skin no, talks, they get in the victory horn. I know. I whipped out my hair. I'll be hearing from my lawyer. What was that? I didn't hear you. You lost. What was that? <laughs> what was that? You yeah, lost. Team dark skin. Ro. You be knowing, I be knowing, and I be knowing this. Mm. Team Dark Skin bust that ass. Busted that ass. <laughs> All right, man. All right, we get it. We that ass. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Hey, you, guys, you guys played a great game. You know, but we're not going to lose. We're going to be Dark Skin with the good sport. Way to be a great opponent. Uh, Way to be a great uh, host. Uh, <laughs> You know what? This is like you know what? This is this is like when KD tore the Achilles, the went down in that championship. We'll be back. You lost. 
But they give the KD, KD, KD left the free agency you after that. Are you, you saying you're going to leave? See my All right, home. you know what, Mark? I'm reclaiming my time. Lost, are you going to are you going to join the team that 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 I won like like we did? Dark is that who you're comparing yourself to? Dark, dark skin niggas. Dark We're gonna skin. take this out. Bro, we need a jingle. Oh. We need a jingle. What's a jingle for like dark Team skin? Dark we need like skin a jingle. jingle. Team dark skin. We <laughs> came through for the win. Team dark skin. Dark skin niggas. Dark skin niggas. We do it better than them light skin niggas. Hey, but guess what? At the end of the day, we all black, so. <laughs> Look at Rose with like, like grounding central, <laughs> like putting us back together. You know why she put us back together? Because well, she's dark skin. Man, I, I'm about to remo- If I it all goes back to skin. that, it all goes back to <laughs> dark skin. <laughs> okay, but- I like. I'm just. Yeah. Like- I'm a sore fucking loser. And y'all oh, niggas yeah. lost. And that has been a great segment. Wow. Great segment. <laughs> more fast. I've been your host, Marcus Banks. Blunt fast. To see it, Team so Dark Skin win one to zero versus the Light Skin Warriors. We'll be back next week with nothing but facts. Let's see if the Light Skin Warriors are able to come back with a victory. Peace. Appreciate you, my dude. Team Dark Skin. Okay. 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 Man, this has been a uh, it's been a dope episode. This has been a very long. We went long. We went long. A lot. Man, come on. It's this fun. Is, no, I ain't saying I ain't saying it a bad thing. That was this, this is a good thing. This is a good. I, I feel this. This is a good yeah. episode. We we this was a live episode. We give we them more because you know it's the holidays and everything. Yeah, we got it in. You you came in real bold. You came in here real bold. <laughs> you know. I think it, I think it was it was definitely the weed. That was some uh, some Larry OG. That's the name of it. Um, well, well, hummed it a lie with that beanie that you got. On. <laughs> <laughs> Call back to the to the uh, being raised by a Muslim dad. Thanks. Thanks. If you don't get your Assalamualaikum. <laughs> right. If you don't get your under wraps, head ass. I, I don't. I can't show my hair that I have none. <laughs> You know me, I'm always with with uh, yeah, the baldy, but I have a beanie or something on, you know. This <laughs> nigga was like, all right, let me stop. All right. <laughs> but yo, this this has been a a uh, a dope ass episode. We appreciate uh the no sleep crew uh for tuning in. Hashtag shout out to y'all. Please, please uh like, subscribe, check us out on YouTube. We are on uh every uh podcast. Uh, platform that is out there. Um, man, Boogie, yo, I appreciate you for checking all the way from Costa Rica. Man, that is dedication. I appreciate Thanks, you. man. This is this is this is the team. This is the crew, man. This is fun. I, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy being on live, getting on every week with you guys. So the fact that we get so much feedback on the first couple episodes, like respect. That's man, that, yeah, that, thank y'all. Right. To me, that feels like uh, that's just a uh, confirmation that we're we know what we're doing so like keep bringing it like like uh they said keep commenting keep liking subscribing we're on all the social media platforms like show us love and tell us how the give us more feedback and let us know how you feeling what you like and what you dislike and we exactly. still gonna take we gonna yeah we're gonna take it in for what it's worth so respect Definitely, definitely. We appreciate all the uh, the good and the bad. Because like I said, we're trying to get better. Yeah, know, yeah. Trying to continue to be funny for y'all. And we appreciate y'all, man. Hey, yeah. Now let's uh, get the fuck out of here so I can finish on my vacation, man. Right, man. I'm about to go get some turkey because, you know, that shit slapped. And I'm high as fuck. So, yeah. Hey, let's go out of here. Uh, Peace out. Uh,